Hello and greetings from Iceland. Staff at the Svartsengi geothermal power plant were evacuated earlier this morning due to pressure changes in borehole data. And if you have been following along with the Sarekinas eruptions, you will know that this is a precursor to an eruption. Uh, that said, no seismic data currently indicates an impending eruption, nor has the Blue Lagoon being evacuated. Pressure changes in the boreholes uh, have previously been considered a, har a harbringe of an eruption. Uh, this is what uh, Johann Snorri Sig Sigurd Bergson, head of business development at Geothermal Power Plant, says in interview with the morning uh, newspaper. The latest eruptions have started very soon after the measurement of pressure change, but now about uh, uh, four hours have passed since the change occurred and there is no eruptions or any signs of land deformation or earthquake swarm which would indicate that is about to happen, which is a kind of strange. The Icelandic Met Office does not consider this change in borehole pressure to be a sufficient reason to call for further action. A change in seismic activity as well as more deformation must occur to warrant further action by the agency. Uh, those changes are not happening now. Uh, the total volume of magma accumulation has now reached about 17 million cubic meters, which is larger amount than before at the beginning of the eruption at Sunuka Gingar Crater Row. The reason for the pressure change at the boreholes that had been recorded today is not clear. An increase in magma accumulation is still expected and Benedict Ofixon, head of deformation measurements at the Icelandic Met Office, believes that it is most likely that an eruption will occur soon in the same areas as previous eruptions. Uh, measurements received by uh, Hoas uh, Orca, the company which runs a geothermal power plant, look at like signs of a possible magma run, but turn it out to be wrong. The measurements were nevertheless remarkable as the uncertainty is uh, quite big. Uh, no, no increased seismic activity or deformation has occurred and the Icelandic Met Office estimates that the measurements were not related to magma flow. Uh, since the November 10th intrusion, magma accumulation has now has never exceeded 30 million cubic meters until now. It has therefore exceeded the limits that previously marked the beginning of an eruption. Uh, then, when they asked him if it is considered to be abnormal, given the pattern so far that no eruption has started compared to the compared to the amount of magma benedict says it may not be abnormal but it does represent certain changes in the system it is changing with time and the fact that magma accumulation has exceeded this limit makes the uncertainty of a possible eruption greater as a result as uncertainty increases other possibilities must be considered and according to benedict uh, experts have begun to expand the area of a possible eruption. They have especially started to look at the edges of the magma tunnel. However, Benedict says there is an over overwhelming probability that an eruption will start in the same areas as the last eruptions and that all the data points to this. Uh, this is the map of the area which shows um, the area of deformation and the maximum uplift point. Uh, maximum land rise point is here, just west of Blue Lagoon, this blue star. And here you see the Blue Lagoon. And the production wells are to the east of uh, Blue Lagoon. And that's uh, where uh, we saw the pressure change in the boreholes here 
of production wells as magma travels from this area where we have this blue star more or less towards the east towards Sunukar here a change in the pressure is detected in the bar house on the way so you see magma is using the same fissures as before to break to the surface the red lines are the eruptions uh, eruption fissures where we had uh, eruptions recently in the last months and the black uh, lines are faults ancient faults from old times they are all over and as you see eruptions take place usually along those fissure and fault lines and they align eruptive fissures align with the tectonic faults as you see so all this area is uh, susceptible to eruption anytime soon that's where we might see it most likely to the east here close to Sunnukur this is Hagafatl mountain to the south and this is Silngafatl a bit further north and uh, we saw eruption here to the east of Silngafatl before just want to show you this map and as always I will end my update with a bonus video from 2023 the eruption of uh, Little Ruter. Be well, all the best and God bless you.